Gateway subnets are where we create our virtual network gateways that allow us to connect our Azure virtual networks out to the internet. I'm Mike Roderick, and in this quick bite, I'm going to show you how to add a gateway subnet to a virtual network. So we're going to start by logging into portal.azure.com, and then we're going to use our navigation tree to select virtual networks. We're going to go find that virtual network that we want to add our gateway subnet to. So I'm going to select the virtual network from my list of available virtual networks. And then once in the blade for that virtual network, I'm going to find the subnets node. Here I'm going to see any existing subnets. And at the top, you'll notice I have a button for gateway subnet. That's all we're going to do. We're going to click that button for gateway subnet. We'll have a blade slide out from the right, and then we can fill in the appropriate information. To create our gateway subnet, notice the name is grayed out. One of the things you want to keep in mind with gateway subnets is they must be named gateway subnet. Here, I don't have a choice, but if I was doing this from a command line interface like PowerShell, you want to make sure you name it gateway subnet, no spaces, or it will not work. All right, below that, we're going to define the range for this gateway subnet. And just like any other subnet we create, it does need to reside within the overall virtual network address space. Uh, Microsoft will recommend using a slash 27 or larger. Right? We want to make sure that there's enough addresses available so that when we add our virtual network gateway, uh, it can consume some of those IP addresses. So I'm going to change mine. My overall address space for my network was 10100 slash 16. I'm going to use 10100 slash 27 for my gateway subnet. So just a chunk of addresses from within that overall virtual network address space. Below that, I can go ahead and assign a network security group if I had created one. I can always do that after the fact, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to leave that as none. I could also add a route table at this point. I'm going to leave it on none. We could assign service endpoints and subnet delegation, all of which can be done after the fact. So I'm going to leave all of those at their default values and I'm simply going to click OK. Now up on my notification area, we'll see that I've got a progress bar. Eventually it will finish as it just did, and I'll get a message hopefully telling me that I successfully created that gateway subnet. So I'm going to close that message. We're going to zoom out. And now when I look at my list of subnets, we'll see that I have a subnet called gateway subnet, and I have 27 available addresses in there. Notice it's a 10100 slash 27. And that's how we add a gateway subnet to an Azure virtual network. This has been another Quick Byte from IT Pro TV.